Very good afternoon. Welcome to Kilburnie. Kilburnie in Wellington. It's the 2022 edition of Land Rover First 15 Rugby on Sky. And it is St. Patrick's Town hosting Scots College. Turns options to the left. Goes to his first five bond. Metric, little show, no go. Yes, it is. Tui Sila up to the five metre line. Real opportunity here for the home team. Burns back to Collins this time. Shows it. Two metres from the goal line. Great retention by St. Pat. Up to the line and try score. We'll wait to see who comes up with it. Jeremiah Collins, who was involved a couple of times in that play. And what a start for St. Pat's Town. Well, three things really noticeable. The way that St. Pat's Town are going about their work, their physicality, their ball carrier, they're getting over the advantage line. And the work from Jade Burns at nine as well. He is always there on the ball. This is lovely from Metric. Look at that. The no look. He did very well here to Isila to keep the ball in. And now the big boys went to work again. Burns again with really good delivery. Here's the carry from the captain, Jordan Chapman. And then look at Collins there. Get in there. His body position nice and low, straight through the middle. Great try. So Campbell will let rip with a drop. Yep. Get all of it. Collected by Fuiava. And here is the first five. Caden Bond. Yes, gets Left into touch. That was a penalty. Two. Late hit. Great support. Always terrific support. The St. Pat's students. It's a good little strike from the goal. He's trying to curve it round and he does. Oh, terrific goal kicking so far from Dallas Natoli. The schoolmates are delighted, and St. Pat's extend their first half advantage. Again, pressure on, but it's touched back to Everett, and this is Royal T. And here is number eight, Tana Maini Lokini. Ten side again. Royal T. Every tackle being cheered by the St. Pat's supporters, but this time a penalty for Scots. Campbell's decided to, to head to the other side. That ball's been not forward, it's collected, and an opportunity here for Scots, and they will hit back. Richard Jones is going to get the try out of nothing. I can't believe it. The option from the captain, Yetitaya Campbell, just to go to open spaces, it was... Look, the fairly simple catch, really, at the end of the day. I think he wanted that to go out, but it just shows conditions, a bit of swirling wind, and eye off the ball slightly, and then, wow, Jones in year 11. First year in this 15, he won't score one easy. What a bit of footwork too, though, Tom. Oh, yes, I, you know, he sort of hit, to hit the left, but he's got a bit of a pedigree as a sprinter, so you don't give him more than sort of 10 or 20 metres to trot, and that was all he had. Left winger, Hayden Patu, takes it into the contact. Not sure if they've heard what the referees had to say. And then finally, Berenice, Boyle Teatea, bangs it into touch. And that ends a very entertaining first half here in Kilburnie in Wellington. It's Wellington's St. Patrick's Town with a three-point advantage over Scott's 10-7. Second half, not far away. Burns, quick off the ground, Bond, floats one to Metric, little number out here as ball's kicked over the top by Tui Sila. Difficult conditions, and Metric comes through and connects it. Still going as Francis Metric. Burns, runs this time himself does Burns, one metre from the line. Big chance here for St. Pat's. Head down, spinning, and over the line, I think it's Higgs. Higgs for St. Pat's, what a spark for the home team inside the first couple of minutes. They get the try, and that's a big play from Ben Higgs. Well, you go all the way back to that carry. It was from Kasna Sale, the hooker, as he took them over the advantage line. Then they got all into this work, and then watch this little kick here, and then metric. You can only turn a kick into a good one if you chase, and then the bounce of the ball, and he's right there. And he keeps the ball alive and really good clean-out work here. Bellucci working hard, nice and low. Then the little carry from Burns. 
and watch as Higgs comes in here. The number four, his body position is critical too. Nice and lone fighting and over. So here are Scots. Campbell's at first five as this one comes across to Monty Gates. Can't get rid of his opposite. But there's another penalty, which are just starting to rack up a little bit for St. Pat's. Tyrannese, Boil Tia Tia. Kick of about 20 metres. Dead out in front. Supporters making plenty of noise to try and put him off. Lovely strike from Boyle Tia Tia makes no mistake. And so 15 and a half minutes left on the clock. It's a five-point ball game. Hooker for Scots. Back right they come. Spinning this time. In the tackle. Oh, it's been ripped clear. No, it has not. Legally, bad anyway. Time, bad timing, but a poor tackle before you've grabbed it. Another opportunity for Scots to go deep inside St. Patch territory with that big right foot boot of Campbell. Oh, wow. It's a huge boot. Let's go! Let's go! They win the line out too. Spinning. Big opportunity here for Scots. Can St. Pat's repel? Lots of numbers in there. They've gone to ground, arms out. Balls on the ground, while Tia Tia. You've dropped it there. Referee gave them a chance to try and use the advantage, but in the end, there was none. Taken quickly by Campbell, and it's over. He's stolen one, the captain. Brilliant work. Just grab the ball, the Yeti Tire Campbell crashes over and Scott Straw level. We well, could just see what he wanted to do as they were coming back there, the captain. Uh, 12 minutes to go from now. He's tapped it as the right option as well. They had to kick the ball in hand. And now they go back to the penalty they opted for as well. Only one score in it. There it is, it's straight back to him, Scott's. They're ready to go, St. Pat's Town. Well, they're not. Oh, it's brilliantly done. And now big and strong he is with a really good body position. Impossible to stop that close. He hasn't missed one so far today. Two from two. Can he put his team in front for the first time this afternoon? There he is. It's a good looking kick. It's a good strike from Boyle Tia Tia, but it's just wide. Not bad at all, considering the conditions. So, 10 minutes left. 15 plays 15, and the captain has a message for his team. Yes, check his charge from Fuyaba. And it's collected. Real pressure here. And it's good work in the end. Under pressure is... Scots and it's been ripped away though by, by the Scots players. That's Campbell. And he's released it too for the winger. Terrific work, Patu. Opportunity here for Scots. Real pressure on the St. Pat's line. Cleared again. Campbell looking for a runner. He finds Singer and gets hit. Big hit. Lawson. Campbell again. And the offload too. Terrific work from Hititaya Campbell. Six metres from the line, and up the penalty is won by St. Pat. What a moment to win it, too. The line under siege, the game on the line. Big, big play from St. Pat's. Uh, Here's the run here. It's a good offload as well. Tackled the ground, then his body position, perfect. Plenty of strength as well. Well done, Lucid Prop. Clears it out. Chapman's in midfield. Shows, charges over. Great run from St. Pat's Town. Burns tries to clear it quickly. Ball's lost forward. And it is lost forward. And that will be that. <laughs> Referee blows full time. A pulsating game of Land Rover first 15 rugby here in Wellington. And it ends St. Pat's Town 15. Scots College 15.